Hello Aquarius Pisces friends and welcome back to the Immaterial Garden for your weekly reading. Thank you so kindly for the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes and what you do to show up for the channel and to show us the love and support. It really is very appreciated. Everything that you need to know about this session is listed down below in the description box. That includes the astrological weather for today, for the rest of February, as well as who this reading may resonate with and uh, a link to the cross-watching channel. This Wednesday I will be posting readings from the perspective of the other person you may be dealing with, and I hope you'll check that out. This, of course, is a special edition. We are headed uh, today, Saturn sextiled Chiron, and this is the first of a set of three events. The second event will happen on June 24th, and the third event will happen November 26th. Today, Sun and Chiron also form a semi-square. There are other things happening with the moon. If you're curious, just check down below. I did want to make some thoughts or make some comments about the Saturn sextile Chiron energy. First of all, I did get the channeled energy of if we are humble and realistic, we are likely to reach our aims during this time, especially if our aims are directed towards dealing with or towards processing, towards breaking karmic patterns, karmic illusions, um, and also towards learning karmic lessons and finally settling the, you know, settling the score, finally um, clearing the slate, especially having to do with our m deepest wounds or our core wounding, okay? Because that's the combination of the Saturn energy and Chiron. Also, Saturn, you know, even though it can be very, Saturn, Saturnian energy can be very, um, coarse or very gruff sometimes it also can be very disciplined and it can also be very like help you get through a period where everything feels like it's on fire saturnian energy will tell you that you know but you will not burn okay that's the energy that i get all right let's go ahead and move into this reading i actually got a new deck this is the large edition of the tote toth or uh Thoth deck, and you can, you'll hear different people pronounce it different ways. Sometimes people are very adamant about how to pronounce it, but it depends where you're from and who taught you. I'm going to call it for the sake, you know, of respect to the artist um, and also to, you know, to make it easier. I'm just going to call it the Crowley Harris deck. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. These cards, I like these, and the size is interesting, but they are a little bit harder to manage. So let's see what happens here. What is the overall, what is the overall messages or energies, overall messages or energies for our Pisces, our Aquarius Pisces friends, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond. All right, we're just gonna pull off the top. I think we're gonna pull one, maybe one, two, three, and then we'll pull whatever's off the bottom for you okay we'll look at the bottom of the deck as well at the end but let's go ahead and see what we have we're going to start with the queen of swords energy queen of swords this is libra energy with a minor resonance in the sign of virgo queen of swords energy there is something here where i feel like you are you are the conceptual mastermind or you are the conceptual uh master i guess what i'm saying is in something that you are about to present. I feel like you're about to present a masterful argument. You might be doing a presentation. You could be doing a presentation for work or you could be doing something where uh, you could be, maybe you're part of a debate club or a debate team. You could also be um, advocating or lobbying for something. But I feel like for most of you, it's gonna be happening in the workplace and I feel like you are giving some sort of presentation. I feel like your arguments are well crafted. You're using a lot of, it's a beautiful blend of reason, but also of intuition and, and dare I say emotion, or dare I say emotion. You know what? Oh, let me take a, I accidentally left that one up. So, <laughs> all right. Um, so Aquarius Pisces, like, yeah, I just definitely got the sense that you are about to you're about to wow or dazzle people with your intellect, with your uh, intellectual, I don't know, just the way you, you phrase the argument or the way you put the argument. For some people, 
I think you're going to make a couple enemies because I don't necessarily think everyone is on board. Everyone likes what you have to say, partly because you are saying we need to separate from whatever this old, ineffective, inefficient, stupid system is. All right. Just be careful because I feel like you there is a little bit of you. you the energy is a little flippant. OK, so just be careful that you're not kind of borderlining on being rude or being uh being insubordinate is kind of the energy, but I feel like you are about to make a compelling case, okay? And I feel like part of it might be, you might be asking for justice or you might be asking for retribution. You might be asking for vindication or validation. I feel like this might be connected to, uh, I feel like we had a reading, I feel like Aquarius had a reading that was about like a, a bad boss or something. I feel like this might be a similar energy, but I feel like you're about to take on this bad boss. And I feel like you're about to, I don't know, I feel like you're about to make some really eloquent arguments, all right, as to why this person should be dismissed. Here with the world card energy, or it's the universe for this deck. So with the universe energy, this is any fixed sign energy. So it is Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Also could be related to Capricorn. Also could be related to Saturn or Saturnian energy. But I feel like this is you arguing to, to I think, like, close, close the door on this person, okay? I feel like you really are... There is an energy here, though, where you might be a little low-key low bitter, okay? A little low-key, like, take your justice, you know, <laughs> take your justice kind of energy. But I feel like you've been dealing with this person, and I feel like this person has been a real thorn in your side for quite some time is what I'm getting. I feel like this person, they may be the type of person that wants control over everything, but it's like they're not necessarily, they're not really equipped to, to be in control, okay? I also am getting Jack Nicholson, you know, a, a, I forget what movie it was, but it's where it's like, I want, Tom Cruise is like, I want the truth. And Jack Nicholson is like, you can't handle the truth. And that's kind of what, <laughs> I don't know. You're like, okay, you want the truth. Let me drop it on you. And then they can't handle the truth. Okay. It's kind of the energy. You could have been dealing with a, um, possibly a Taurus with the Prince of Discs energy, Taurus with the minor resonance in the sign of Aries, could be an Aries Taurus cusper possibly, but here it looks like maybe it looks like this is your boss, okay? This is not like the big boss, this is like your, your the person that, you know, is in the chain of command ahead of you or above you, and I feel like usually Aquarius, uh, usually Aquarius Pisces, I feel like Sometimes you have difficulties following chain of command and part of it is because you kind of see through the rhetoric. You don't you don't listen for the buzzwords. You watch what the fuck people are doing. You sense with your you you both reach out with your senses, with your intuitive with your intuition and also with your intellect in order to break down someone to observe them to understand them and i feel like everything about this person kind of bugs you because they want to put on airs they want to make it seem like they are you know uh they work hard they play hard but at the end of the day it's like no they actually don't very do do very much okay that's kind of your attitude or your energy and i feel like what's brutal here though is i feel like you you brought receipts okay that's what i'm seeing or feeling here that essentially it's like but and you have the fucking evidence all right maybe you weren't able to take a move i feel like there's a little more delight in being able to like kind of like take this person down but i do feel like here you weren't able to move forward now you have a solid opportunity to move forward okay uh and and here with the queen of wands energy this is aries energy with a minor resonance in the sign of pisces i feel like for some of you you could have mars in pisces all right so maybe this like um this sort of direct sort of like approach maybe it just takes everyone by surprise especially this person who thought that they were going to get away with whatever their dirty dealings are or whatever whatever the things they're taking advantage of or just resting on their laurels and taking credit from everyone else on the team when it's not their victory it was not their their win it was not their idea i feel like you are not just talking for yourself there is a little bit of spite here okay there is a bit of pettiness here but it's not because 
it's it's not just about that. I mean, you hate the fact that this person spited you. It it makes your blood boil, especially because it's this person, their energy. It just like drives, I don't know, I feel like it really bothers you that they might have tried to take advantage of you. But here you are passionately speaking as an advocate and representative for your group, all right? Even if you usually are very soft-spoken, usually you don't really go directly or whatever, there's something here that makes you jump to action, and I feel like you are captivating in this moment or during this presentation or whatever you're saying, whatever you're revealing, people want to listen to you, okay? You have a natural air of First of all, it makes sense what you're saying, you have evidence, and you have a natural air of authority coming in through that Aquarius energy, which, you know, even though it's Neptune, and sometimes Neptune likes to be the bad, you know, the bad, the bad, the black sheep or whatever, um, but it also has that, that Saturnian energy. When you need, when you have to harness it, you can tap into the universe energy, that Saturnian energy to boost your arguments, all right? I feel like you're going to get results in this situation, okay? Whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, I feel like you're trying to get someone canned. You're trying to get someone fired for being, uh, basically for not, um, for not being good at their job, all right? It's not personal, although it is a little personal because I feel like you don't like this person, all right? But I feel like ultimately, what are you doing this mostly for? To protect your, your you know, your comrades, to protect your, you know, the other people that are, you feel like are in the trenches below this person that are getting, you know, that are getting shafted or, you know, the people that you're in the trenches with, okay? Depending on what you're, what you're, uh, you know your um situation is or what your your role or status is in the situation let's go ahead and pull another one here let's see what is clarification for this universe clarification for the prince of discs energy is this the person that you're dealing with and if so if it i mean if it's a different sign maybe we can get what their sign is but i feel like is is this your boss who is this person that you're dealing with i feel like this is at work though we do have the six of wands energy it says it doesn't matter who this is six of wands energy jupiter in leo energy you are going to be successful you are going to be successful in uh, whatever your ambition is toward this person and i feel like it's to to get them fired okay and i don't think it's just because you want them to lose their job i think it's more you want them to be fired because they're because they don't deserve the job okay all right it's not just about making them suffer it's about also making sure the right person gets into that position to make sure it's a better work environment for everyone okay let's go ahead and take a look here let's take a look in this is what you do best okay with your that Aqu that aquarius energy uh even if, if, this, if this is a more suppressed or a, a less um, tapped into side, I just feel like you, this is, you just find yourself like surprisingly in your element here. And I feel like you convince people. I feel like you get the results that you're looking for. I think it's a big win, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look here. What is the, the universe energy? Tell me more about the universe, please. Here we have adjustment okay which here adjustment it's going to be libra energy this is like justice in the weight smith deck so here it looks like yeah justice will be served you are going to be able to even the playing field you are going to be able to get rid of this person and to set everyone else up in a much better position here i'm gonna <laughs> pull the one from the bottom of the deck we do have the emperor energy all right aries energy divine masculine energy but i do feel like you may have you may have a mars in Pisces placement but it's like you whatever it is it's like the um to protect others and to protect basically to protect the standards of uh, the standards of logic decency as well as um I don't know just I don't think you like a tyrant you don't like a tyrant you don't like someone who bullies other people around especially one that's inept all right i feel like that's that's the feeling it's almost like disgust it's almost like you know i'm not you you can't get away with this i'm not gonna let it happen i'm gonna take action here assertive action what do we have here we have the five of discs worry why because and this person they know i mean I feel like they they there's anxiety. They know that they know they're they're gonna take be taken down is what I'm seeing here. They know what their what their you know transgressions are. Okay, with the five of discs worry, I just feel like they've caused enough trouble, and that's why you are the shield of the emperor protecting 
protecting everyone else in the situation, all right? Let's go ahead and take a look here. What is the universe? What is adjustment? What's the clarification here? Okay, so that, that is also funny to me just because I feel like at the end of it, you may even almost come out of it like almost like you're in a trance and then you're like, what happened? They're like, you you did it. You did it, Aquarius Pisces. And you're like, you're like, oh, that that's great. I think I'm going to have a panic attack in the hall, in the bathroom, in the hallway. And then I think I'm going to go home, okay? That's kind of the energy that I feel. But for this moment, you are glorious, all right, Aquarius Pisces. Is there any uh, further clarification here for the universe and uh, the adjustment card? Here we have the Empress fucking energy. And look where it came out right next to the Emperor, okay? So I feel like here, this is, um, yeah, you're, you're protecting the well-being and welfare not just the physical, but also the emotional, the energetic, and the spiritual energies against this person who is always causing trouble, who is always taking and taking, feeding off the others, feeding off the, the you know, the abundance of the land, so to speak, and you will let them plague, you will not allow them to plague these people or plague you any longer. Okay, what do we have at the bottom of the deck? We do have the eight of, we have the eight of swords energy interference. So I do feel like you are, yeah, you're foiling this person's plan. And I feel like this person, they are, I feel like they really are worried about this. Okay, I feel like they, they might know what's coming, but they can't stop it. Let's pull the last one at the bottom of the deck, possible conclusion. We have freaking completion, all right? Four of wands energy completion. That's also 1111. I feel like you know you're walking in uh i feel like you are you know you have this victory because you are righteous in in this moment you are righteous in this um in this cause okay the cause itself is righteous and at the center it's it's you you are the you are the one who is um i don't know who is initiating, who is making this happen, who is improving things for the people around you. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? Six of Cups energy, pleasure. Turning a very bothersome, worry situation, a very combative environment into a place where, you know, people feel feel good to come back to, to work again is kind of what I'm seeing here, okay? All right, thank you so much, friends. Please join me again. Gratitude to the divine, to you and all of creation.